Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Andy Teixeira. Today, I'm going to be covering the Separatists and what characters deserve to be Separatist in Galaxy of Heroes that are currently already in the game. And they're just missing tag. And this is part of my missing tag series, so keep that in mind. It'll be my missing tag playlist. But yes, this is, you know, a few characters I would love to see as a Separatist. And I'm going to go through them. So first off is Embo. Um, he was used... Uh, he was hired by Count Dooku. If he's hired by Count Dooku, he's not per se Sith because, yeah. But he is hired by a, a Separatist leader. So, you know, he hired Jango Fett. So why not hire... He I hired Embo to help capture um, uh, Palpatine as a, a Chancellor. So, yeah, that he was used by the Separatist in some form of Separatist fashion. Separatist scheming plot. So why not make him an, uh, a Separatist? It would boost the Separatist faction a little bit, giving them some more options, especially if you decide to use... Say, for example, I know I did, I'm going to be saying that I've discussed the um, four bounty hunters being in, in Empire tag, in the uh, missing tag for Empire and Imperial Troopers, but what if you decide to go Bo Bosk, Boba, Jango, Mando, and Grief Karg as a bounty hunter team? What are you going to do with the rest of the bounty hunters? Well, you got some scoundrels... Uh, Dengar would be good to slot in Imperials, a uh, GD8 Imperials. Um, so Cat Embo and Cad Bane, definitely worth it. What does his payout give him if he's at the beginning? Um, he takes a bonus turn after scoring a critical hit, and it can't be consecutive. And then he gets a new ability, deals physical damage, recover protection, equals the damage dealt. It's not really going to hurt him that much. He's not even getting a boost, any sort of stat boost. He just gets a new ability. And gets a chance to attack again. So he's not getting any sort of boost. I feel like that's kind of a disappointment. I feel like they need to add something to that as a stat boost. But at least giving him a chance to have that extra so he can actually war helmet and lose some protection and then gain some more protection back wouldn't hurt at all. I don't see why that would be a bad thing. It's not going to break the Separatist faction, is it? Uh, unless they actually... Of course, it would be ni nice to have the Zeta on him and also have him counter in his Zeta unique, but... He only counters when he's the lead. Uh, Cad Bane, he's another unique character. He's definitely a support. Um, he was used by <clears throat> Sidious to hunt down Jedi, but he also worked... He actually also captained or officered, whatever it would be, a munificent class frigate. And he was talking to Newt Gunray a lot of the time for during that time. So another Separatist, why not? He was kind of, you know, working with Separatists that way, so he definitely deserves a Separatist tag. His payout is another one that actually really isn't that broken. He has 25% evasion and flicks thermal detonators for two turns when on attacking enemy when he evades. And this thermal detonator can't be evaded, so he's not getting, like, an extra, like, 50% offense and stuff like that. So, what's wrong with having him a Separatist? It would give him some viability, um give him some uniqueness to this kit. Uh, there's not a lot of Separatist leaders right now. There's Dooku, Newt, and Grievous that are big ones, and then there's Brute Alpha. Um, but I think the three big ones that proc the Django's uh, payout is Newt, Gre uh, Newt, Dooku, and Grievous. I don't think Brute Alpha does because he's a more of a Geonosian leader, so they probably kind of tag that that way. I don't know. Even though he is Separatist, but yeah. And so, and honestly, he could bring, you know, he has a chance to stun, he has a chance to attack it in, again and inflict accuracy down so they could miss more. Uh, yeah, and he also has extra crit chance, crit damage, he recovers health protection when he inflicts a debuff. I feel like that should be 10%, but hey, whatever. Um, so yeah, why not? Why not, Capital Games? Make him an Empire, or not an Empire, Separatist. <laughs> the ones that actually would become Empire are a little more devastating than the Separatists. So these two, they would just add some more team diversity and some use in a team instead of just being left to the wayside and not being used at all. Um, and next is Savage Press. Now, he was, you know, led by... His, uh, he's already Sith, so you can't really, like, take that away from him. Um, he worked with Maul. He worked with... Um, Dooku. And he also, in a way, worked with Ventress and... Uh, Mother Tals. And of course, that doesn't make him a Night Sister because Night Sisters are female. It would make him a Night Brother. So they could add Night Brother tag, make him and Maul a Night Brother. It'd be kind of cool. But we're not here to discuss that. We're here to discuss the Separatist faction. 
Even though, yes, I have talked about uh, Savage Press getting some sort of synergy based on his, based on if any of the leaders are either a Maul, any version of Maul, uh, Dooku, Ventress, or Mother Talzin. I feel like they, he should still have that. But with, with like Dooku or just another Separatist leader, him being able to, you know, use his ability to cleanse those Separatist uh, allies wouldn't be a bad thing. Maybe, maybe we even make it like maybe non-droid Separatist allies, so it's more unique to him. Because you do see him like when he's charging his first mission to kill Jedi, he's thrashing droids out of the way. He doesn't give a crap about those droids. He's like, bye bye, droid, to the scrap heap, droid. But yeah, he, he can still cleanse a, a Separatist ally, a, a Separatist non-droid, maybe non-Genosian ally. Just you know, so he said cleanses Dooku. Well, he already cleanses Dooku because he's Sith. But he cleanses new gun ray. Maybe, maybe Grievous is on there because he can be, but not really a lot of separatists. But at least have some sort of cleansing, even if he is. Give him the separatist tag for some synergy. The silver power isn't bad. I feel like it can be updated by doing double massive damage, and if the enemy is defeated, it can't be revived. But still, you know, it'd be kind of nice to see what he could do with that. Offense down. There's not too much, so. I don't see much to be, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt if Savage got the Separatist tag. He worked with the Separatists for a little bit. Granted, that wasn't his main um, lineup. It was more of with his brother Maul, probably the Clone Wars variants of Maul. But still, it'd be cool to see him have that. Now, the last character on here you probably already saw is uh, Darth Sidious. He does need some more work on him. He does need a better rework, touch up, whatever, just to make him better. But... A lot of people are saying he should be Separatist. Some people are saying Separatist and Galactic Republic. That would just be weird. Yes, he is playing the game of both sides. But this specific Darth Sidious is the one that goes and fights Maul and Savage. So, yeah, he's just a Sith at this point. So he's not part of the list. But there could be some argument to make him Separatist just to make him more viable. But he's more, he's more of a Sith through and through than anything before. Because he's just plotting. He's not really aligned with them. He, he placed Dooku in power with the Separatists just to have some sort of powerful leader. And that's what he did. So, But this is why I'd say this one doesn't deserve it. But one thing he does deserve is the shuttle he arrives on Mandalore with. So he could actually, you know, have another ship. Because... If Emperor Palpatine could pilot a ship now in this game, why not give Darth Sidious a pilotable ship? <laughs> Even though I don't know what they're doing with ships right now, because they've we haven't seen one since the TIE Bomber, and in the last few ships that have been released, Vulture Droid, Hyena Bomber, Y-Wing, uh, both Y-Wings, uh, and TIE Bomber, they've all been pilotless. But I still feel like unique characters like Sidious, Han Solo, those kind of characters deserve their own ship their own named ship, like Grandmaster Yoda could get his Starfighter. But, aside from that, that's my thoughts on the Separatist faction. Three characters, not not too many. Um, let me know if I missed any that could deserve to be Separatists or not. Maybe you could argue Aura Singh on here, and if you did, let's go to Bounty Hunter really quick. I miss Bounty Hunters, because I'm... Yeah. If you did throw Aura Singh on here, I don't know if there are any specific... I know there was a time she was supposed to assassinate Padme, and the only unique she could get would be crit damage and doubled if stealthed, and whenever a bounty hunter, if it was to be a Separatist, she gains 10% crit chance stacking. So yeah, she does have that going for her, but aside from that... I don't see her being Separatist. I don't remember her being really hired by a Separatist. She could have been for the time she plots to attack and assassinate Padme, but Ahsoka stops her. So, again, like I said, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did I miss any? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and you guys have a phenomenal day.